This case would result in one of Oregon's biggest search efforts in history. This is the case of the Cowden family. On Labor Day weekend, 1974, Richard and Belinda Cowden would take their children, David, who was five years old, and Melissa, who was five months, along with their dog, Droopy, on a last-minute camping trip. They chose a campsite they knew well near the town of Copper, Oregon. Towards the end of their trip, on September 1st, Richard would take his son to the general store to buy a carton of milk, and then they would head back to camp. That evening, they were expected at Belinda's mother's house for dinner. She had lived less than a mile away from the camp. When they did not show up, her mother went to the camp herself to check things out. When she arrived, she found no sign of the family. There was no sign of theft or a struggle. There was an open carton of milk on the table. It was as if the family had just vanished. The Cowden Family Murders, Part 2 On the morning of September 2nd, Droopy would show up alone at the front door of the general store. A massive search effort would begin for the Cowden family. This included the Oregon National Guard, the Forest Service, and hundreds of volunteers, as well as the police force. They would search 25 miles of roads and trails all around the area, looking for the family. Seven months later, two hikers in the area would stumble upon a body. It was the body of Richard Cowden. He had been tied to a tree. A search of the area led to a cave nearby. In the cave were the bodies of Belinda, David, and Melissa. Belinda and David had both been shot, while Melissa had suffered blunt force head trauma. Richard's death was undetermined. Their bodies were discovered seven miles from their original campsite. The Cowden Family Murders, Part 3 Once the bodies of the Cowden family had been discovered, the police knew that the guilty party needed to be found. Dwayne Lee Little quickly became a person of interest. He had a history of violent crime and was paroled just a few months prior to the Cowden's disappearance. Dwayne was also a resident of Rouge, Oregon, which is a little over 30 minutes away from the campground the Cowdens were staying at. Dwayne's parents also live in the area. Over the Labor Day weekend in 1974, a cabin owner in the Copper area claimed that Dwayne Little and his parents had signed the guest book. Dwayne is currently serving three consecutive life sentences for unrelated crimes. He refuses to take a polygraph or speak about the case. The Cowden family murders are still considered unsolved.